Hey everyone, so it is the first week back. I imagine a lot of you are excited just to do something. So here we are, we're going to do something. So uh, attached to this video, you're gonna see written directions of everything you need to do this week, but I figured I would explain it just a little bit because sometimes it helps just to see my beautiful face and hear my chocolate baritone voice explain things in a way that can help you. Uh, first thing you need to do this week is make sure that you have the cat person discussion board submitted. So I'm still gonna count that as a normal grade. It's kind of the last thing that you have to do before everything pre-coronavirus happened. So make sure that that's submitted. I'm not gonna be picky about the due date. Just get it in to me this week. Um, uh, the next thing that's happening this week is that you're actually, pretty much what's going on all this week is that you're gonna be crafting and working on your second essay, the evaluation essay. And what you'll do here uh, is you're going to choose one of the texts from the unit and you can see all of your, all the different texts uh, that you can choose for the essay beneath the assignment direction. So you'll see those there. So you're gonna choose one of those and you're gonna write an essay over it, evaluating the argument of the text. So there's no text specific resource this week that you have to read and analyze or anything like that. Uh, what you've gotta do is you're gonna click the Lessons tab, and once you do that, you're gonna see a folder titled Week 9. So click that Week 9 folder, and there's gonna be two different sections. One is called Resources, and just read through all those documents there. They're really short. They'll help familiarize you with how to write an evaluation, what it is. It's basically you just doing what you do every Thanksgiving and just judging everyone, right? So you're just going to judge a text on the argument. And a good thing to choose here is something that you either passionately agreed with or passionately disagreed with. So there's some of those videos that got y'all hot. So choose that. If you want to rip that to shreds, that might be easier to write about. Or if you want to write something that just stirred you up because you thought it was so good. A lot of you love Chimamanda's arguments. So uh, choose something that you feel passionate about uh, and evaluate it. Was it a good argument? Was it a bad argument? Why or why not? So all of that's gonna, you're gonna find under week nine. Uh, and then once you have followed all the directions that are in the evaluation essay directions, um, craft your essay, put it into MLA format. Uh, I'll provide some more resources there to help you. Uh, I think they're there already. Actually, yeah, they are there already under helpful resources. So just make sure you follow all the directions there, and then you'll have to submit your evaluation essay to Blackboard by 11.59 p.m. And a lot of you have told me that you don't have access to a computer, so you're pretty worried about formatting things because you're doing it on your phone or a tablet. I would highly recommend that you use Google Docs in that situation. And even through Google Docs, you can still save things as a PDF or a Microsoft Word document, which is completely appropriate. So uh, go ahead and do that. So uh, another thing I'm going to do with this announcement is uh, I'm going to attach a podcast that I've really been enjoying. It's keeping me kind of sane. It's called Poetry Unbound. And every Monday and Friday, they send out uh, a podcast that's eight to ten minutes long that's grounded in a poem. And this Irish poet, his name is Padre Gotuma. He just kind of interprets it, and it's just delightful, and there's great sound editing, beautiful music, and it's kind of what I've been doing to center myself in this crazy time, okay? So once again, feel free to email me, uh, contact me through Remind. I'm sure we're going to hit some bumps here and there. A lot of you have already emailed me about confusion and questions and uh, typos and things that I've already goofed up on, and that's okay. So this is a new process. We're going to figure it out all together. Uh, I know a lot of you are kind of having like knee-jerk reactions and thinking that you needed to drop the course because you only access the internet through your phone. Don't drop the course. You've already gotten halfway through this thing. Let's just hang in there. And believe me, I'm not, y'all know me, I'm not this like harsh, I'm not supposed to touch my face, a harsh disciplinarian. So you know that that's not me. I am on your side. So just take a deep breath. Uh, if you've got to do it on your phone, I know that's annoying. Let's just see what we can do. Let's let's get a couple more weeks of this under our belts and see how progress is going, okay? All right, y'all are beautiful, wonderful human beings. Tell me what TV shows to watch. I'm almost done with The Witcher and I don't, I don't know what to do after that. Let me know.